I love learning the history of a community before we go out into it. Why did the people settle here? We knew it was a rich in maritime history kind of community, but what better place to start than the Penobscot Marine Museum? Okay, this is the original farmhouse built by a schooner captain. I guess the schooner captains did well back yeah. then. <laughs> <laughs> When we crossed over and walked into one of the sea captain's house, we met Sarah, she was our guide. She told us about the family that had lived there. I think this house is cool because it's the oldest one in our museum. It was built sometime between the Revolutionary War and the War of 1812. It was bought in 1815 by Miles Fowler and that was right after the end of the War of 1812 and that's right when this town started growing. There were lots of sea captains in this little town and in 1843 the first opium war finished between Britain and China opening up trade with China. Lots of ceramics from China and Japan, fabrics and animals. Over in the corner there, was that her headdress that you have in the picture there? That is a memorial wreath. Mary Black took hairs from all of her family members and wove these intricate flowers that you see in that wreath. That's all oh hair? My. Yes. Wow. Human hair. Um, it's a little creepy. A lot creepy. It is. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> All over Penobscot Bay, hundreds of ships were built. Would they have built these models before they built the ship? They would build a half model, which was kind of like a 3D pattern that they would scale up to the large ship. Sarah, thank you so much for the tour. It's of been course. fascinating, absolutely fascinating.